Hello everybody, welcome back to Expedition Homestead. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at our indoor house plants, giving you guys a tour of all of the great plants that we're kind of prepping to grow throughout the winter months to keep you guys entertained all year round here on the channel. And don't worry, we will have a few more update videos outside regarding our willow tree cutting, specifically requested by several different viewers. We're also going to be doing an outdoor vegetable garden cleanup and then a video on the chickens, uh, prepping them for winter. Um, but without further ado, let's check out some of these plants that we've got. So we have been adding a lot of new plants to this bay window, uh, prepping for the winter months, as I mentioned earlier in the video. I'll just run through them all for you. We've got, uh, starting off uh, with the Chinese evergreens, aglionemas. We've got one there, the beautiful pink color. This one's a little bit more on the orange side. We've got Sansevarius, Calancho, that palm thing, I don't like it, but Katie likes it. Uh, this is our Philly Swiss cheese. That's a newly purchased plant, so our plan is to grow it up along the macrame and then possibly a couple of different supports for it to grow even higher. And then across the bay window here, we have our uh, Epiphyllum guatemalense monstros, EP2 they're called. This one was just fruiting, so I was gonna make a video on that. Our daughter knocked it off the fruit, so I'm gonna see if I can salvage some seeds from there, if they're any good. Uh, we've got a chocolate soldier succulent there, a little bit elongated, but the, that's fine. I think it's doing well, considering that we get mostly shade from our big black locusts in the summer months, and then we get a little bit more sun during the winter months, actually, in this window. Uh, Sansevieria, then we have a silver pothos. Another pothos over here. Again, our, our goal is to kind of grow them up and over across so we fill up the entire space. Then we've got another, um, one of those epiphyllums. This is a cutting that we took from the mother plant. We've got a bunch of those growing downstairs as well. Our Christmas cactus is not doing very good this year. I think I might have overwatered it a little bit, so I'm just gonna pay a little bit less attention to that one and hope that it springs back. And then here we've got a Monstera uh, mimosa. So it's a mini Monstera. We've got to build a pole for that, a moss pole, and help that grow along. But it's in, in pretty good shape. It's put off a couple of new leaves up on top since we bought it. So that is the front bay window. It's looking pretty good. Here we're kind of sorting out through a couple of different plants. Uh, we've got a bunch that we need to repot and organize. Uh, Peperomias, we've got an orchid. Begonia, our Monstera, our Alocasia African Mask, some more Pothos, um, a Sansevieria right there. We've got some English Ivy that's in one of those pots we need to repot. Um, and then we've got a Peace Lily here and our big three-year-old ZZ plant. The ZZ plant has just exploded this year. Um, I think the saying goes first year they sleep, second year they creep, and then third year they leap. That old adage definitely held true with this plant here. Really all of the growth above the first 12 inches is brand new this year. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six really new ones sprouting up. So that has gotten just really, really big. Over here in the bedroom, we have a rickrack plant. This is a really cool plant indeed. I am a little surprised it's doing okay so far, being that this is a westward facing window. It does not get a lot of light whatsoever, but it's doing okay. We have to repot this one as well. This is a new one we just purchased for you all to make some videos on. 
And then over in the corner here, we have another pothos that we plan on growing up along the ceiling, then having a few hanging down, and then some going along the back wall. We had the giant golden pothos along the back wall, um, but then we swapped them out for this one. This is one of the macrames that Katie has made. She's been making a few of them. Um, they, they look really cool, easy to make, fun to make, and it definitely saves a lot, a lot of money making it yourself compared to buying them at a greenhouse or something like that. It's at least quadruple the cost. <laughs> and downstairs, we're working on cleaning this up a little bit as well and then adding in a second shelf so we can store some of those plants from upstairs and just really expand our growing space down here to include a lot of videos for this winter. I know you all absolutely love the indoor plant videos, so we wanna make sure we get them out for you this winter while we have the time and we're not so tied up in uh, the outdoor gardens with our vegetable gardens, the chickens, the flowers, landscaping, all that kind of stuff. So up here we have our good old cactus planter. This thing is several years old. We started with mostly all of cuttings, including the Apuntia cactus. We've got old lady cactus, Choyo cactus, uh, the pencil cactus, Sansevieria. Really all of them came from uh, propagations of one kind or another. A couple of other little cactus propagations we've got going on here. These are little ones that we propagated off of this. Uh, some people say this is a golden barrel cactus. It, it appears to be some type of a barrel cactus, but not sure what kind. Then we've got our uh, Epiphyllum guanamalense, so the, the curly sue cactus right here. I showed you the propagations upstairs. This is another one we've got going, going down here. And these are also the same plant. These ones I'm kind of experimenting with i've got a water basin down below so the roots are actually sitting in water let me see if i can pop that off of there there just like that so the roots are coiling up down in there <clears throat> just growing right in the water kind of like hydroponically these are paper white bulbs they came from a kit that we bought from home depot just some ornamental plants to grow through the winter months in the kitchen upstairs. And then we have our jade here. Not doing the greatest. It hasn't been outside a whole lot this summer, but um, overall not horrible. I just need to take some time and give it some maintenance. So I'll probably include that in a future video. Our big aloe vera is now doing excellent. This thing had almost completely died back. If you're curious to check out the video, we've got it on the channel. Just go on our channel and search uh, aloe vera. You will find it. This thing just almost completely died. We've propagated uh, this aloe. Behind you here, we've got a couple of different propagations, again, of cacti and aloe. So we're gonna start a little cactus planter back there kind of the same theory as this one up above. I've found that growing in large containers like this, whether or not they're sealed, is uh, a great way to go about it. Instead of using pots, larger trays, larger planters like that work incredibly well for cacti and propagations of all kinds. Uh, this was our carnivore plant that uh, yeah it's not doing good i just cannot keep it alive no matter what i tried so maybe i should hit up my good old buddy from tech plant he's in milwaukee Sh give him a shout out and see if he can maybe get us on a video with how to take care of these because it no matter what i do i just can't seem to keep them alive well that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because like I said earlier in the video, we've got content coming out year round. Take care everyone and we'll see you in the next one.